call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 10th day of July, 2018 at 5 p.m. Uh, I want to ask uh, Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. By heads, please. Dear Lord, we just love you and we just thank you for the wonderful weather you've given us today. I just, I want to take the time, dear Lord, to uh, lift up the Henry family and I ask that you uh, be with them as they've lost two children in our county, dear Lord, that you wrap your loving arms around them and you comfort that family and be with them, dear Lord, and be with their needs. Dear Lord, I also want to thank you for being with the, the 12 kids in Thailand that you were able to safely re retrieve from the cave, dear Lord. You, uh, you're working all the time and we just continue to ask you to be with our people in Ohio County and, and help them out and, and love them when they need that, you, Lord. Dear Lord, we pray that we make decisions that uh, are pleasing to you, that would affect people in Ohio County in a positive way. We always just ask that you be with us. Dear Lord, we pray for our country and our leaders as they're making huge decisions right now. And uh, we just ask that you be with them and we pray that they go to you, dear Lord, for their, their advice and their decisions. And, uh, dear Lord, again, we just thank you for all the blessings and the things you're doing for us in our life. And it's your name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, gentlemen, before you have the minutes of the uh, June the 26th meeting, I need a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Motion to Sam Small. Oh, I'll see. Second by Larry Kim. Any discussion, corrections, or additions? If there are none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers to have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Discussion? Uh, Jeff, just give me a minute. My computer's down and I don't have to do it the old hard way, I suppose. have the treasurer's uh, June 2018 financial statement. We just need to acknowledge we got it subject to audit. So we'll move that we receive it. Okay. motion second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. We've, uh, we've got it. 
Now we have the clerks. Is the clerk here? You have a report. You do have a report. We need to acknowledge that we have received the clerk's report, financial statement for June. I'll make a motion. Motion with Joe. Second. Second Sam. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. It's approved. And, and in the same vein, we have our quarterly report. I'll make a motion to accept. Motion with Jason. Second. Thank you, Joe. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Sheriff, we'll come on up. We got you down here. Uh, thank you. It's yeah, that's that's my okay. It's uh, it's it's concerning his department though. Yeah, we have the uh, order setting minimum amount for deputies and assistants. That's to amend the original one due to the retirement rate increase. Okay. And health insurance adjustments. So, motion by Larry Kim. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. <coughs> Carries. And in the same order, we've got the clerks to do the same way. I'll make a motion for that. Motion by, by uh, second. Jason, second the Joe. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That one's approved. What about this one? The compens sheriff compensation schedule. Does he mean the same thing about it? That is, um, we have to do the annual compensation schedule, and he was still working on it, so we told him to just get it in on this one. Okay. Jim, what it was, when we did all the other, uh, Compensation schedule. We didn't have the sheriff's in, so we have to do it separately tonight. So I need a motion for that. We'll move. Second. Motion to second. <coughs> motion to Sam, second to Joe. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That motion carries. And Sheriff, did you have some other business here? Yes. You can tell on here one more time. one more thing to add to our uh, uh, list of surplus it was another utility vehicle um, it's it's listed as a utility vehicle four-wheel drive what it is it's a six-wheel gator one of the older ones we'd screened through the military and I'd like to get it on that surplus list so we could sell it it's in pretty bad shape so okay can you give Miranda the yes. information so she can put it in her Manage and then you can I don't know you, you can. motion by Sam Small, second, second by Joe Barnes. Uh, which surplus account? I'm sorry, it would go into the uh, uh, the capital outlay, yes. Okay. <coughs> I'll get you one. Sorry. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Post carry. Uh, the next thing I have. Uh, Judge is a uh, contract that uh, Justin Cowan uh, and I put together um, and it's a contract with Beaverdam Tourism and they usually call me and say hey we need X amount of deputies to help us with uh, events that they have, concerts and things of that nature. Uh, the auditors uh, of course they've been looking at everything and they said we needed a contract written up between the city of Beaverdam or the Tourism Commission and the Sheriff's Office. That's what this is and Justin has prepared it for me. I just need to get it approved and, and bring it before the court to let them know that we're going to do that. 
It's in the same vein as interlocal agreements. Yes, basically. Yes. Security. Yes, just for security and and traffic getting in, traffic in and out. So, so. Is this just you help them, or do they reimburse? They you reimburse us work? at the overtime rate for the officers. So Ann has worked hard to set that uh, schedule for what that pay would be. So it's a break-even deal for us. The officers get that uh, amount of money, but we break even as a county. It doesn't cost us right. anything. Yeah, motion accept that. Yes. I'll make motion second. second. <laughs> motion second. Motion by Jackson, second, second. Any discussion or questions, gentlemen? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Opposed, okay. Miranda, I'll get you a copy of that once we get it signed from the city of Beaver Dam. So right. I was so, just waiting on to get that done before we did. Did you need to sign it at all? No, no, I think it's just got my signature in uh, the city of Beaver Dam. Okay. Uh, the other issue I have is an agreement uh, with some litigation in it and I'd like to go into a closed session with you and discuss that if we could. Okay. And our sections. Um, do we want to do that a little bit later then? Could we go okay, ahead? Yes, that's fine. Let's, yes. move, let's let our guests speak That'd first and then we'll do it. Okay? That'd be fine. Thank you. Uh, next we have uh, Sam Spa is going to uh, introduce our guest speaker. Uh, tonight we have with us from Purdue Foods from Armwell, Kentucky, uh, Mark Knight, our Director of Operations, Natalie Knight, she's our Director of Continuous Improvement, and Brittany Bowles, she is our HR guru. <laughs> well, okay, okay uh, like Sam, Sam said, I'm the Director at Cromwell uh, of Operations. I want to thank you for this opportunity. Very appreciative to get in here and, and give an update on Purdue. And, and, and got to tell you what we're about. Okay, see you over there. Okay, so, uh, you know, Purdue's economic impact in Kentucky, we have about 1,370 associates. Uh, our poultry uh, producers, 183. Our grain farmers are 72, 62. And our total community impact is about $486 million. Um, you know, some of Purdue's values, the quality, the integrity, teamwork, and stewardship. That's Mr. Arthur Purdue and Frank Purdue, and in the middle there is the Purdue house where it all started. Um, three generations of family leadership, the fourth generation is coming on. Um, uh, Jim Purdue's kids, so they're very involved in the business, uh, taking us to the next level. We'll be 100 years old in two years, so a family owned company, 100 years old, so uh, a great story. Uh, our vision is to be the most trusted name in food and agriculture products. Uh, Chairman Jim Purdue is the third generation to lead the company. Uh, like I said, the fourth generation um, is working in the company, and we will celebrate our 100 year anniversary in 2020. Uh, Purdue by the numbers, uh, ranked number three in U.S. by sales. 7% of the chicken market, we're, we're among the top 10 U.S. grain companies. We have 20,000 associates. Uh, 2,000 poultry producers and 31,000 grain farmers and 600 hog farmers. Uh, our path forward, you know, we're not we're not just about getting bigger, but getting better. So, you know, we're very much involved in USDA verified programs for our chickens. We're, we're the leader in no antibiotics ever. Uh, we're the leader in USDA certified organic chicken, uh, supporting family farms, specialty crops, uh, conservation. Uh, to organic production uh, products and services to increase the sustainability of the uh, conventional agriculture. And, and one of our big initiatives now, and it has been for a while, is our commitment to animal care. We, we have a four-part plan uh, to this, and, and basically what we're trying to do is, is, is try to figure out what a chicken wants. It seems, seems kind of weird, but, but we want to know what a chicken wants. What, what does a chicken want when it lives its life? For the, for the period of time that it lives, you know, we're putting, um, you know, windows in houses, we're putting doors in houses, we're letting chickens go outside and roam, eat bugs, jump on hay, do things like that. So we're really digging into to, to, to what a chicken wants and more, you know, humanely raised uh, chickens and not just putting them in a house and raising them. Uh, so we've had some college kids studying that for a while and a lot, a lot of people studying that and trying to figure out what we're going to do with the chickens and make them comfortable while they, while they live their, their life, just as a cow or anything else that roams in the field. 
Uh, some of our brands, uh, you know, the big, big one here in, in Cromwell, of course, is the Purdue Harvest Land. It was invented in here, and uh, we just got uh, a good biz, uh, a good bit of business out of uh, London, Kentucky, the big Walmart DC. We just got uh, 15 million pounds awarded to us from that DC, and you'll see some of our products here locally too, coming coming to the Walmart here. Uh, and some of the West Coast brands, we have a couple plants on the West Coast: uh, Rosie, Rocky, Ranger. Uh, and the Coleman brands are West Coast and organic brands. So, um, and we also have a, a pet treat business. Uh, you know, it's called Spot. We're big into pet treats, so we're definitely supporting the, the pet group. Now, uh, we believe in you know, responsible food and agriculture. Okay, uh, we believe in responsibly producing safe and high quality, affordable food, and for our customers and consumers worldwide, and there's some of the uh, folks in the plant, uh, you know, our biggest asset uh, is, is our people. Uh, Purdue Cromwell, we produce a wide range of products, and like I said, uh, the Harvest Land brand has is, is really took off out of here, and, and uh, it's been a really nice product for us here at Cromwell. Um, our customers, uh, Walmart, BJ's, Costco, Trader Joe's, uh, some, some of the few that we have. I uh, hear some uh, t talking about the uh, agriculture-based products, and here we're, we're making some rapeseed uh, to mix in with our mix for the farmers. Uh, you know, we have this big, uh, another side of our business is the ag business, so we're big, you know, up in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we have a big agriculture business, soybeans, corn, those kind of things. It's about 40% of our business. Uh, and here's one, uh, we believe in stewards of the, of the natural resources utilized to produce and market our products and services. Uh, environmental stewardship. So uh, we have this big lagoon up at the plant uh, here in Cromwell that, 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 we, that we know about. Uh, so it's, 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 it's very, I got a couple pictures of it, but it generates 18% of our annual power needs for renewable fuel, which is roughly 5 million kilowatt hours. Um, recycles more than 90% of landfill class waste back into consumer products, uh, consumes natural gas that is locally produced in central and western Kentucky, um, sustainability reduced the volume of water, the amount of power and fuel that's consumed over the last eight years to become national leaders in the business category. And, and, and the biogas to energy, what we do, uh, here's a large, we had a large open lagoon back there, uh, uh, which waste waste process so 200 tons of equivalent of carbon dioxide generated in a year uh, sustainable methane or methane uh, carbon dioxide and sulfur emissions um, so we've taken this we've covered up we capture the gas um, and here it is covered and we generate electricity for the plant uh, and there's the generator we use so we take it we capture the gas we put it to a generator and we use it in the plant and it produces about Ten thousand dollars a week in revenue for us for electricity. So, uh, this is some of the facts around it. Uh, you know, our sustainability reduces the odors around the plant. Uh, gas collected destroyed the, the green effect, uh, reforesting 56 acres of land and eliminating the emissions on, on 38,000 cars. It generates enough power for 800 Kentucky homes annually. Collected heat to make a lot of hot water. Uh, the en engine's operational uh, since 2011 of August. Uh, we participate in T TW or TVA's green energy switch program, just like several solar solar power programs and were recognized by the Department of Energy and received an economic develop grant from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And we just re, re up that grant. Uh, TVA transfers power as energy and credits in North Carolina part of that uh, and here, here's some more of our associates you know uh, we're responsible employer invest in our associates growth and safety and well-being um, and here's some of our benefits um, you know, we have health insurance prescription plan on-site wellness center and, 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 and our associates can go to this wellness center and it's free for them so they get paid and it's also a free visit we see, they see the on-site doctors when they go there um, we have vision, dental, life and disability insurance, 401k, and company match. 
the company matches what they put in. So nice benefits. Uh, we also have a health improvement program. You know, we have a hip nurse on, on site, and, and you know, without our associates, we're nobody. So we make sure that we take care of our associates. We send them, we got about 95% participation in this program where the hip nurse brings you up, so take your blood, and tell you all the good things or bad things that you're doing, and tell you you need to, to do different things. Uh, but um, it's really, you know, we've saved a lot of people, you know, from whether it's been, you know, heart attacks or high blood pressure, but it's free. Every associate works there, you come up, you get your blood taken, and, and they uh, take you to the program. Uh, Purdue's uh, HIP is uh, it's, it's in, in the uh, Health Improvement Program, uh, C. Everett Coop Health Award winner, and Department of Health and Human Resources Innovation and Prevention Award winner. So it's won a lot of, lot, lot of awards. Uh, our associate safety, safety record exceeds the average for the, for the ma manufacturing sector. Uh, we get a lot of awards around safety. We're just one of the number one uh, poultry producers in, in, in safety. Um, model er ergonomic programs, Joint Industrial Safety and Health Council Award of uh, Distinction. We, we got that award hanging up. Um, here's some more associates. So associates exceeded 5.7 million safe hours and recognized with the president's safety award here at the plant. Uh, that's how many hours we went without a lost time accident. So a super job there. Uh, employment opportunity. So. Uh, I see the pay wasn't updated here, so I'm going to talk about that. After 60 days, the social can earn up to $13 an hour, so we've taken our pay up to $13 an hour, um, and then $15.35 uh, based on hourly rate for production, jobs, uh, depending on the shift. Possible to earn $2 more an hour for a premium position if you're a line lead, and then of course it's you know uh, it's about growth from there with the supervision, superintendents, uh, unit leads, and then on up the ladder. So a lot of technical positions out there, maintenance lab, quality assurance, uh, clerical jobs, just a lot of opportunity there. Uh, management positions, I spoke of that, uh, and, and promote within. We like to promote, promote within. So if you work there, you know, we want people to know about chicken and we try to promote within a lot. Uh, opportunities and investments, that's part of that. And also, last four years, I mean, Purdue's done well. Cromwell's done well. We've bonused the last four years. Everybody in the plant bonus. So if you work there, you've been there a year, you'll get a bonus, a yearly bonus. So that's really, that plant's really done well with that. And all of Purdue, actually the last four years, and every plant bonused. Um, so you have the right to be heard. We have open door policy. You know, even my door's open uh, at any time. If anybody wants to come in and talk, uh, we're, we're very big on the people. Uh, peer review, uh, we got a process, you know, if somebody doesn't like something or they want to review something, they have a peer review process they can go through. Uh, a hotline you can call, you know, for any kind of unethical or illegal activity. Um, and we believe in responsible members in the community where, where we do business and we do a lot of, a lot of stuff with the community. Um, here's some of the commitments that we have to the community. Um, United Way, you know, we support United Way a lot. Project Clean Stream, this is where we go out and uh, most of everybody in the plant or a big team goes out and we just pick up trash everywhere. And every Purdue does it on the same day. So we come up with a lot of trash. Relay for Life, Ohio County Fair, um, FFA, uh, Ohio County uh, Repair Fair, uh, Feeding America, uh, Kentucky Poultry Federation, Chamber of Commerce, local schools, law enforcement. Uh, here's Relay for Life picture. Some of the people supporting that, go back one. And we raised seven thousand dollars support fight against cancer. So uh, here's the United Way of Ohio County. We did uh, eleven thousand dollars. So we supported the team raised more than eleven thousand dollars in 2016. Um, since we've, we've got ninety six thousand dollars since 2012. Um, Project Clean Stream. We talked about that. It's where people go out to get trash. And just clean up uh, along the highways. We, we own a stretch of highway and clean it up and pick it up. Uh, 850 pounds of trash and debris removed from the Cromwell area. Uh, and, 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 and so just follow us on Facebook or join the conversation and share our stories. Um, 
but kind of kind of close out you know, you know I want to thank you, thank you for the opportunity but you know Cromwell is, is, is growing and expanding so you know I'm here I'm here to get the word out you know we're, we're gonna another 150 jobs coming out uh, there we're, we're expanding our mix is changing uh, and also we want to put more more chicken through that plant so it's it a good project to, to we're looking for more people to come up and work 150 workers um, you know to come in and work and we're going to build on try to build into the building and expand uh, it's, it's it's the number one plant in the company uh, we love it here I mean the, the corn the, 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 the grain it's all great right so um, we want to grow here so trying to get the word out we've been uh, working hard in, in, in the community and all the surrounding counties and you're kind of finding out you know out there beating the bushes we've been struggling with trying to find help and people who want to work we've, we've got you know 1200 people work we want to go to 1350 so um we're out there beating the bush and we're finding out a couple things i'm finding out that you know a lot of people don't know we're there and i'm, I'm blown away by that <laughs> there's big old plants out there and nobody knows we're there so we're working hard on that and and, and we found out that people had bad experiences there so we've changed and you know i'm here to say i want to make sure that if, if, if something's happened or uh, we want you to come back. I want you to come in the plant. I want you to walk through. I want you to experience what we're going through now. And, and we've changed a lot, and we're doing a lot of good things. And to, to let you know we're out there, so we're trying to grow. So I, I appreciate it, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're really proud to have uh, Purdue in our county. It's a big part of our economy, and uh, we're we're uh, proud of you. Thank you. I just noticed you gave uh, $50,000 to the, the homeless shelter. Yes, sir. Promise Home. And of course, uh, Morf Larry Morphy's sister got $20,000 from the fire department. So, yeah, I've noticed you've done several things here, like in the community. And I work along with stuff with the stuff the bus and the food pantry. And I know that you guys work along with that. And I appreciate that work. Yeah, and we're going to continue to do that, you know, in the community, you know, uh, reach out and find out what the wants, what the needs are, and put the money where it's needed. So, you know, the Hope House is. is it's a good thing we, we wanted to do it and get it built. So glad to see it. The fire department got some good stuff. So we're, we're going to keep doing it. So, you know, help us grow. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Sheriff, I'm going to make a uh, motion. We're going to short post session with the Sheriff. Yeah, there, there's the last slide. I left it off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, okay. didn't, I didn't see Sam in any of them pictures. He don't work there. Then. <laughs> I, I, he I, works so fast <laughs> good that you can't see him. <laughs> uh, I need a motion under KRS 61810, Section C. I'll second. Okay. We're going in the closed session. Uh, there will be no business conducted. We'll just have a discussion about litigation issues. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm moving to go back in there. Have second? Second. Have motion second. Uh, we're, we're back in uh, open session. I will state for the record there was no uh, business transacted. We just had discussion uh, on, on some possible uh, legal issues. Next, before you have this reading of the budget ordinance 2019-1, uh, I'd like to have a motion and second on that, then Ann will explain here it to us. Here is a copy of it right here. I'll make a motion. Motion by Sam. Second. Be second by Larry Morphew. Okay. okay. Ann, just tell us what this is all about. Uh, this uh, is amending in the surplus money that we have uh, and you'll see on the first page most of the top are grants and carryover accounts that have to be done um, then you'll see where we've done the health insurance reserves um, just the general reserves um, then for each magistrate there and the new one is the capital improvements reserve that we talked about 
the second page is the road fund, LGEA fund, and the third page are the remaining four funds. Just carry over them from previous budget. Mm -hmm. but, but now this uh, master's discretionary money is noted. Yeah, I see. I'll get that noted. Yeah. I haven't found the one. I've asked. I've asked. And maybe your uh, spelling would have been challenged here, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. I'm not, I can do numbers. I'm not the best at spelling. Okay. Any further discussion? Big number roll call that. Morphew. Yes. Oh, sorry. Small. Yes. Cam. Yes. Since I was jumping all over the place. you don't have to worry anything about spelling. No humor there, Brent. Yes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. 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 I just cut it out. Okay, and that's the first reading. We want to do the second reading of that at the very next court meeting. Um, we were presented with the uh, 2018 public health tax. Uh, do you have that with you? I do. Okay. Um, basically, it was it was raised a half a mil in like mm -hmm. how many zeros that means in front of the half a million? Three, a mil. Okay, oh, that's a exactly. tenth of a penny. Okay. Okay. A tenth of a penny. Uh, what do you know? A meal's a tenth of a penny, and we raise it half one of them. Somebody did not delay. Sure, tell people to say if you don't need for Yeah, there's your signature on it. I voted against it. That's what I thought. Uh, but anyway, we need to recognize that they did present to Just us. acknowledge. Motion blur it down. Second. Second, Sam Small. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, like sign. We don't have any control over it anyway, do we? No, any of these special districts we don't have control. Well, I really wonder why they even have tells. Uh, we have an opportunity here to make our uh, waterline money go a lot farther. Uh, the citizens, well, first Larry dealt with uh, East Davis County Water, and they've reduced the price of, of the line. Well, what they're doing, Judge, they agreed to, to uh, put fifteen hundred dollars toward the project because of the you know monies that they received but uh, but they had to take it for the board the board agreed to it so we're fifteen hundred off the ticket. okay so that's a total of forty six hundred of the ten thousand three fifty eight paid by others that we don't have to yeah so that makes our money go farther yeah my understanding the people out on the road are going to pay three thousand thirty one hundred thirty one hundred so that would put us up, that would put it down for us. How much is our cost again, David? Okay. Ten, the total is 10358 The total paid by Al's others is 4600 meaning nearly half. So that I would like to move that we go ahead and put that one to the top of the list because of the money that's been paid by others on. The 5758 will be the remainder. Yeah. I'll second the motion. motion by me and second by uh, Larry Camp. Further discussion? I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah, Especially when they're willing to put their own money into yeah. it because they want it that bad. Right. So okay. that might be a precedent to the others that want it. Maybe yeah. they can do that. Joe, I think we're getting to the point on the water lines where they're extending so much and not as many houses. Well, I like that at least. East Davis County's putting some money in yeah, it too. Yeah, they put it in They're getting well. the money back. You never know until you ask. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Yeah. And you keep that list too. That means that moves to the top. That goes on top? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Have there been any committee reports? Do we have any committees met within the last month? Uh, I'm going to call two right now. Uh, at the next, uh, at four o'clock at, at the next court meeting, uh, we had, need to have a road committee meeting. There's going to be a guest speaker at the road committee meeting. And sometime, who's the chairman of the weight scale committee? Renetta, I we, will you schedule a meeting sometime before the next court meeting for the weight scale committee? It could be earlier that day or it could be before then. We'll, we'll follow okay. Any other committees, Mayor? Okay, being none, um, let's go ahead and do the master's polling next. Then, then I've got one something at the end of it. Sam, uh, I don't really have nothing, but I do want to thank Mark and and Natalie and Brittany for showing up and. Purdue is a uh, good place to work. It ain't what everybody thought about it 15, 20 years ago. Uh, I do uh, ask that everybody should come out and, and take a tour. Uh, if you have something, I have a doubt, come look. Uh, Mark's door is open, and and that's all you have to do is just knock on the door or, or walk in the front door, and we got a sweet little lady there that will meet you and greet you and and move you right on through so come see us thank you Jason. jason no thank you joe i don't have anything thank you sir sir you know anything about the uh when they're going to bolt lift the bowl water it today about one o'clock it's already lifted if you anybody want to pick up on that the ball advisory's gone it's already taken care of. Um, I am gentleman's agreement back at budget time with Larry agreed to uh, make to make a motion that I will uh, forfeit the part of the uh, of the uh, FEMA money that I was going to have the okay to uh, say where it went. It's it otherwise, and that means it will all go into the road formula. So, with that, uh, I make that motion. Uh, can we get this? Uh, we can write it out. I'll write it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we amended it like four times. I just want to make sure. I'll I second right. whatever motion. We will look at the minutes next week. I'll let you all write it out. Okay, go ahead and roll call. Okay. Can you have some discussion? Yes. Uh, this money, uh, so do you receive any? No, no. Not so, under, under this scenario, it wouldn't be. And the, on, on the old scenario, the way it's in there now, it would be that I would receive the 80000 of those funds and would get to, but it would, it would be divided among the road formula. The only difference would be that I would have, I have the right to say where it goes. Yeah, that's in the 480 that we talked about. Yes. Gotcha. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, roll call. Small. No. Bullock? No. Barnes? No, I'm fine with the way it was. Charleston? Yes. Down? Well, I'm, I'm a little bit lost here. What are we voting? What's the motion say? As long as. Oh, hold on. It was uh, that. Uh, the eighty thousand would be go back into the road formula without being split off into for me to say what part of the formula and not to pick the roads. But the eighty's still gonna go into our districts based mm -hmm. on the road formula. So yeah. I'm, I'm now this is are we talking about the four eighty money or the five hundred? Both actually. You were still like, you were gonna get the four eighty money, but the FEMA money is what we're talking about now. That's five hundred. That's, yeah, that's what we're talking about. And the so motion. you want the 500 or the 480? Well, no, the 480's already been discussed, and David gets $80,000 of the 480. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but the, so the, the 80 of the 500, correct me if I'm wrong, 
would you be get it, but it still goes based on the road yeah, formula. Absolutely. So I mean, I'm, it's still going to my district, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Larry, um, um, help me out. I can't. Sometimes I'm Chinese. Look, a little Chinese in me, but confusion is that little problem here. But now we're talking about. Are we talking about the five hundred thousand dollars? Yes. Yes. And what are you wanting to do, Judge? Instead of saying where it where it goes, I was to get eighty uh, under the road formula. Eighty thousand of that was to come for me to say where it went, and and uh, the new motion, the agreement I had with you for the budget was that I would not do that. Okay, and that's what your motion's alluding to now. Yes, that's what the motion it's, it's for is. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Morphe. No. Motion Anybody else got anything for the good of the body? If not, this means it's good. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, one thing I just want to please have a prayer request. We had another child die in the county. Uh, the Sutton family lost a little girl uh, today, and we want to keep her in structure. We have to keep her in your prayers. Well, we also need to talk about the Valencia family also lost a child, I believe, two years old, who their families from here. In the Sutton family and Center. Lots of little girls. No? Oh.